Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called a Swamp House. It does indeed say it's free as well, so hopefully it stays that way. Let's take a look. First glance, it doesn't look too bad actually. We get exactly what it advertises itself as, some kind of swamp house. Now I guess you could put some water in there if you wanted to make it look kind of more swampy, I guess. So let's take a look at the quality. Overall, it's quite nice actually. I like how it looks. I can see this actually being quite useful for a number of different things. If you're creating, obviously, a swamp environment, then yeah, that's going to fit in quite nicely. But even if you're not creating that style, maybe something a bit post-apocalyptic maybe, then this would probably still fit in quite nicely. As I always say with assets like this, it's something you make yourself. Don't just take the asset as it is. Make it your own. Do things with it that you want to do. And... I know I do this pretty much every single review. Just a little bit of post-processing sometimes can go a really long way. So if we turn it off, it looks a bit plasticine-y. Turn it on, it looks a little bit better. And obviously, if you're using the correct uh, settings, you know, for HDR and you've got your rendering path, which is actually set as deferred, um, makes it look even better, I guess. So it's down to you how you want to make it look. And obviously, if you're doing something maybe from mobile games, post-processing not so much but if you're going for that style of uh you know that as i call it the unity look then yeah that's not too bad so quantity wise we get this obviously uh we get everything in the folders that you would expect so there's nothing in the way of extras per se unfortunately but I don't think you'd expect extras in this sense simply because it just advertises itself as the Swamp House. It's free. It's just a simple asset, which, okay, fair enough. So quantity-wise, yeah, it is exactly what it says it is. Um, the one drawback, I think, to this is it is one entire model. Nothing on this is separate. So the door itself can't be animated, unfortunately. Uh, but you could... Theoretically, if you wanted to add a couple of colliders on here, you know, just add a couple of cubes so you can make the steps walkable. So I think that is the only gripe I have with this asset, that it is just one single model. There aren't separate components, unfortunately, but, you know, considering it's free, I guess that's not too bad. It's just, again, I suppose you could use it as a backdrop or something, something you'd see in the background. But, like I say, add some um, colliders and, yeah, you've got a fairly decent model here. Uh, Price-wise, is indeed free, as the title would suggest, which, yep, okay, fair enough. I hope it does stay free. Uh, if it does end up a couple of bucks, you know, think about that. Prices do go up all the time. They come down, they go up, they come down. Um, I wouldn't pay too much for this, considering how the asset actually is, and it's not dynamic in that sense. Um, how useful is it, though? Well, I think it's fairly useful. Uh, in a lot of senses, but I would say for more prototyping rather than a final product. The uh, reason I say that is because it is 56 meg, and that is quite a lot for just one single asset like this. It's not massive high quality, as we can see, but the quality is good enough to warrant um, that size just about, I think. I, th I think. I mean, 56 meg. It, to me, it does seem quite a lot. But either way, for prototyping, yeah, I can see it being useful in that sense. How customizable is it? Not too customizable in this uh, scene, unfortunately. Um, I, I think the best you can come away with is the usual uh, play around with the materials, I guess. Um, make them a bit more metallic if you want to, whatever. That is about as customizable as you can get. There's not a great deal, unfortunately. But again, coming back to the whole prototyping thing, if you're just looking to prototype, you don't really need to customize it too much. Although I do always say try and make these assets your own. Sometimes it can be a little bit hard with something like this. So, as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. I think this is a good asset, but it's not the best and it's not practical in a lot of ways, unfortunately. Um, I think it's great for prototyping, like I say. It's great for a backdrop. If you're creating maybe just a little cutscene uh, in a swamp environment and need a bit of a dilapidated building, then yeah, I recommend this. I think it actually fits in quite well. Bit of post-processing on there. You could work with this quite nicely. However, if you're looking to create a final product and need some dynamicism to your game, this probably won't um, fit the bill, unfortunately. But 
might, might still be worth a little look, again, depending on what you're doing. So guys, have you used this asset? Let me know what you think of it, what you've used it for, if it's any good. And if you've got an asset yourself, link me to it because I would love to check it out and review it in one of these little videos. And finally, guys, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and click on that bell icon as well to stay up to date with all of these reviews and all the tutorials that I have on my channel because there's always loads to see, learn and do. So until the next video, guys, thank you very much for watching.